January 14th, welcome to Friday, another episode of The Murder Mentality. I'm going to just be as absolutely plain as I can. I've had a very tough week, probably the toughest in my life, and I've been clean through it. Strangely enough, the stronger I get as a human being, the greater the tests become. The more I work at being me, the greater the level ups and the greater the bosses at the end of these level ups become. I'm going to come at you guys today with some real aggressive messages and I just want you to hear the heart of the message. I don't want you to worry about how I'm saying it. I don't want you to worry about the language I use. I don't want you to worry about my body language or my facial expressions. I want you to let me speak from my soul directly into yours. I'm going to be honest, I felt broken this week. I've got some things going on with my kids right now that I hoped I'd never have to deal with. I've got some things going on with my kids right now that I hope they would never have to deal with. We all have a tremendous amount of anxiety and pain in our fucking hearts right now. We're hurting. But I'm here to tell you that vulnerability and authenticity is not about admitting that you're hurting. It's about admitting that you know who that person is that is hurting. That you know that that person behind that pain is so fucking strong. I'm here to speak this message to everyone who's ever felt broken before. I'm here to speak this message to everybody that ever wanted to get up or give up. You can't be an underdog. You can't be an underdog if you don't go through pain. You can't have a comeback if you weren't broken at some point in time. But the truth of the matter is, while you're enduring every bit of that pain, God is there with you, helping hold you up. When your legs don't feel like they can give another ounce to keep standing and life keeps punishing you. When you're against the fucking ropes and you're just getting hit and hit and hit and your guard is up and you're getting hit more. That's when God's with you. That's when he's with you. And then when the enemies takes a step back to see how badly they've beaten you, when they take the second because they think they've won the fucking battle because they have the hubris and the ego and the unwillingness to look at who and what they really are, that's when you swing back. That's when everybody that was watching was just wondering when you were going to fall. And you take every bit of that pain, every strike, every blow that life landed on you, every blow that the enemy, the devil, negativity, everything you've ever been through landed on you, and you swing for the fucking fences. And you hit back so hard, people didn't know you had that kind of power. The truth is, your pain isn't something to endure, it's fuel for the next level. The truth is, all of my pain has been the plutonium for this atomic bomb to go off. All of my pain has been fuel for this moment and I refuse to pour a bathtub full of it and lie in it until I die. I will fill my tank and I'm here to fill yours too. Because I am a fucking warrior. I'm unbroken. Nothing can break me. I am not powerless ever over anything. I'm not powerless over life. I'm not powerless over addiction. I'm not powerless over others. I'm not powerless over anything because I can change me. I can change me to meet every situation. And the truth of the matter is that the world will meet you where you meet yourself. The battle will be won when you pick yourself up off the ground. The battle will be won when you take God behind you and with you and beside you and before you and you charge into battle and you get stuck into the combat, into the melee, until you're swinging your sword and you can't fucking hold it anymore. It's every bit of energy you have to keep fucking swinging it. 
And you keep swinging and you keep swinging because you understand it's death or victory in this life. The enemy wants to destroy you. The devil wants you to feel powerless. But you are not. God with you. Who could stand against you? All of this pain is not God inflicting things upon you. You cannot get fucking cynical to your creator. This is God forming you into a tool to strike the death blow against the enemy. This is God showing you who you really fucking are. And this is me pouring my passion out into the fucking world. This is me not letting my pain become a lodestone around my neck. This is me not letting vulnerability and authenticity become my story of how I became broken, but become my story of how I came back from the things that nobody ever could have expected a man to come back from. This is my story of how I will turn my pain into fuel. I will fight to the last breath. I will be wounded and on the ground, crawling towards my enemy's sword and hand, bleeding out before I give up. And you will too. I'm here to speak this message to anybody that feels broken. I'm here to speak this message to the people who don't have anything left or don't think they have anything left. To those people who feel like there's no more options. To those people who feel in their heart like I do right now. But my soul knows that how I feel isn't factual. My soul knows that the master blacksmith of creation is behind me, forming me into a tool, a sword, a firebrand. Look it up. <laughs> that the enemy cannot stand against. Something that no enemy could stand against. Nothing can stand in front of something that is relentless. Look up the definition. I simply do not have the time to sit and define every little thing. You must understand if you are ready to be unbroken, if you're ready to be a fucking warrior, you take it on yourself. You put God behind you and you get your team of people who you know would do anything for you because they're there, but they're probably people who you'd never expect. They're probably not your blood. Maybe they are. They might be total strangers, but they would fucking walk with you into fucking combat if the world fucking went to total shit tomorrow. Those are my people. My people are the ones that hit their knees when it's good and pray. People who hit their knees when it's bad and pray. People who can look at God in the face and say, thank you, Lord, in the worst of times. <laughs> People who know that life is a gratitude test. Who know that none of their very breaths are fucking promised. Nothing that is happening to you is promised. This is all a gift. All of this pain is still a gift. Stop looking at it like it's your burden to carry and start making it into your fuel. If you've been through the most, then you should be the strongest. I'm going to say that again. If you've been through the fucking most, if your story is insanely hard, then you are the strongest motherfucker you know. You are the rarest person you know. There's only one of you amongst almost 8 billion. Do you understand the odds of that? Do you understand how fucking powerful you are? This is no longer about whether or not you can fucking make enough money. It's no longer about whether or not you can be the most comfortable. Fuck comfortability. Fuck being comfortable. Fuck the easy road. I'm not here to be easy anymore. I'm not here to be soft anymore. And the reality is, is that every blow the enemy lands against me has become more fuel. And when that punch turns around, when that uppercut hits, when that Mike Tyson level of fucking aggression comes out of that underdog, you can't be fucked with. 
At that point, the enemy runs in the ring just like those old Mike Tyson reels. They had a bunch of confidence going in there, but as soon as they get fucking hit with that type of passion, hit with that type of practice, hit with that type of fucking love, nothing can stand against that. Absolutely fucking nothing can stand against a relentless person. I tattooed it on my fucking chin. My throat says fear is the mind killer. Almost every phrase I have written on my body is to remind me of how fucking strong I am. I have warrior on my knee. I have no half steps on this leg. I keep stepping on my foot. Art's dead. Life poet. I want you to understand. God made every one of us like that. God made every one of us into a warrior that you don't even know yet until you get hit that last time and you're sure that this is it. You're sure that this is the time when you're just going to become a fucking super villain because the pain is too great for you to continue trying to do good. And that's the moment you become a superhero. There's no such thing as a story, any type of hero story, where that person doesn't get beat down, battered, and bruised. There's no such thing as a comeback that doesn't involve a massive fall. There's no such thing as a warrior that doesn't have to endure pain. The reality is, convenience and comfort have made us too fucking soft. And I don't want to see any of you be soft anymore. I'm not saying you need to be a dick. But I'm saying when you feel it, you act it out. When your conscience says, do this, Justin, you do it. When your conscience says, don't do that, Justin, you don't fucking do it. That's the authentic voice of God. And do you understand how quickly everything that you want in your life will fall directly into your fucking lap? As soon as you align with that, once you align with God, you ain't got time to fuck around with anything else and all the blessings will fall in your lap. All this time you're spending thinking about how broken you are is keeping those blessings from landing on you. All this pain you're carrying on your fucking back is bouncing the fucking blessings God's trying to put on you right now. Stand up, look to the sky, and you tell God, thank you, Lord, for giving to me the power to overcome me. You tell God, thank you, God, for giving me that power so that I could become me. You say, thank you, God, for my fucking struggles. Thank you, God for showing me how important it is to be a warrior. Before I close out, I always do something. I always invite you guys to do something different from what I usually do or from what you usually do. And today I'm gonna ask you to do something I don't usually do on my videos. I felt it. I felt it coming in here to say this. I felt it. Coming in here to make this video. I felt it while I was at the gym. When I put every ounce of my strength. And I, I saw 15 fucking more minutes on the treadmill. On the highest level I've ever had it on. I was like I can't do it. And God said Justin yes you can. I felt this message. And what I'm going to ask you to do. Is to please put this everywhere you can. Put this message, share it to anyone you know. Shoot them a message of it. Tag them in this video. Put it on a page that you know has people that need to hear this message. Change the world with my pain. Change the world with my pain so my pain can become my purpose. Change the world with your passion for love of life. It's no longer about just doing you. It's about leaving this place better than what we found it. And that's all there is to it. 
I love you guys. Remember, you may be broke, but you're never broken. You may be broke, but you're never poor. You may be broke, but you are still a warrior. And the only thing that can ever destroy you is your choice to quit. I'll see y'all tomorrow.